So if you hear noise in the background, <coughs> asthma. No, I may have cancer. I don't know. My father died of cancer at 68. He had the same kind of cough. <coughs> but mine comes like once a year. I didn't have it last year. The only problem with this cough is that it's coming on very early in the year. It's supposed to be in October. <clears throat> I want to say something very deep. You people are younger than I am. <coughs> and because you're younger than I am, you take life for granted. Uh, who is young among you? Uh, uh, what was that guy's name? He left the social media. I forgot his name. Uh, Billy Painter is young. Um, <clears throat> Eric Pincher is young. There's a few of you out there. Oh, arrogant media. He was young. So there's a few of you out. <coughs> that are young. And I don't think you people understand the meaning of death. That it can happen to you just like it happened to a a friend of mine. We weren't close friends, but we had the same hobby and camaraderie. I met his uh, wife. I met his kids. I met his dog. I met where he used to have all his equipment. And uh, a mutual friend told me that he had a massive heart attack. I want you to think about that, people. Massive heart attack and <coughs> there have been people that have been dying of heart attacks uh, Bray Wyatt was a wrestler 36 years old died of a heart attack through COVID what I'm saying is life is very <coughs> very short today shorter than you think and what you people need to do is you know stop acting like scumbags stop acting like social media douchebags you know treat people right treat people with respect now you could say anything you want about me <coughs> because you people you don't treat people with respect and your politics suck and you stick up for the uh, chocolato uh, assholes which I call the inferior people so there's a lot of things that you people do that piss me the fuck off but other than those things what really matters is that some of us don't have a lot of time on this earth because once you're gone, you're gone forever. And if you're not a, like a celebrity or something like that, people are going to forget about you even quicker. <coughs> the only people that are going to remember you are your friends. And they'll remember you for so long. And then eventually, year after year after year, you'll fade out. <clears throat> so what I'm saying is that you have to live like it's your last day. Now, of course, you don't appreciate that because you're a bunch of young pussies, young punks. You don't hold the value and the meaning of, of life. That you're here today, gone tomorrow. <clears throat> You have to 
make life that it means something. You have to give people respect. Because other than your politics of defending the Chocolato inferiors, that's the only thing I really have against you guys. Because you're not realizing that they're evil people. The Black Lives Matter movement is evil. They don't care about black people. The only thing they care about is destroying the world. And they think they're going to live forever. <sighs> See, I'm not saying that when I do my show, I'm going to be this kinder, kinder, gentler person like Howard Stern. No way. But if I'm not kinder, it's only because I want to straighten people out that are ignorant and are stupid. They don't get it. They really don't get it. You know? They just don't get it. <clears throat> See, there's a, there's a big difference between being a shock jock, like me, because I'm going to bring it back, and being someone that gives a damn about people. So, you know, you people better start stop being so fucking evil and stop and start caring about people. See, Ratso is evil. He doesn't care about nobody but himself. He's the perfect example. He doesn't think about death. Hey, Ratso, do you think about death? When it could be your day? Because once you're gone, you're gone. I think about death every day. Or every other day. And when it's my time to go, I want to make sure that the man above understands that I, was, that I tried to be the best I could be. <clears throat> and right now, I want to do the show of shows, make something out of myself in five or six or seven plus years, but I'm going for the number five. <coughs> <coughs> and I want to be the greatest broadcaster of all time. And I'm going to tell people, man, think about death. Because it's the only thing that humbles people. You know? It humbles people. So many big names have passed on in the last couple of years. It's, I, 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 I can't believe it. Life is not guaranteed forever. So while you're still around, do something for somebody. Be nice to somebody. Show them kindness and love. Don't be a dick like fucking Ratso and his girlfriend. They're dicks. They don't care about nobody but themselves, especially his girlfriend. Those people, they only care about themselves. They don't care about anybody else. They're not kind. I mean, she cursed out Charles. And he did her a favor for her to be on his show. And she mopped off to him like, who the fuck does she think she is? She's a piece of shit. And that's the way those people act. They have no respect or courtesy for anybody. That's why we don't bother with people like that. <clears throat> I don't know what else to say. But be aware that life is short. Be aware.